In this video, we'll take a look at the deck constraints user interface changes that were made to OpenBridge Modeler version 10.07. So what I've done is I've selected the deck. I'm going to go take a look at its properties and tell it that I want to modify the variable constraints. At this point, uh, for those of you that have used the software in the past, you can tell that this dialog does look uh, different than it has in past versions. So we still have the template and variation windows, although the variation window has been uh, updated and refreshed. And then at the bottom here, uh, we can see a list of the variables, all the variables that are associated with a specific template. Uh, here, two of them are active and already defined. Uh, the right width and the left width have already been uh, defined with some values. So let me show you how uh, that can be done with this new interface and also some advantages of this new interface as well. The example that I've chosen is I'm going to use the thickness value here for the deck. When I initially activate it, uh, there are no values shown in the table or anything else. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add a section here. And I can tell where I want that section to start relative to uh, one of the support lines. Uh, I can do it by some ratio of the overall length of the span. Uh, or I can do this at a specific station. So I'm going to just tell it to start at the very beginning. Start at uh, zero offset from the first support line. When I select add, it'll put the default values out there uh, for that variable. And if I want to change those, I can change the start or end value. And if they're not the same, then I would want to tell it what type of a transition I ask it to perform uh, between the start and end values. Next up, what I'm going to do is tell it that uh, 20 feet into this deck template, uh, I want to change some of these values. So I'm going to set this to 20, select add. And then here under relative location, it says, okay, 20 feet past uh, the first support line. So we can see the difference in stationing here. I'm going to tell it that I want this to be, uh, let's say, 9 inches thick at each end of the transition. So now that I've done that, and then lastly, I'm going to tell it I also want to do this 20 feet before the last support. So I'll come in here and tell it at support line 3. Uh, I have a value of negative 20 and I want to revert back to the default values uh, that are in here. And by using the support lines, if those change later on, those 20 foot values are fixed. The stations simply change and uh, the length uh, of this interior portion that's 9 inches thick uh, will move with it. But you can see up here uh, in this window just exactly the effect that variation is going to have uh, on the deck. You simply select OK, and that will go ahead and update the deck and use uh, those new values. One other thing to note here, there is a copy tool where we can copy these values and these ranges to any other variable uh, on this list. Uh, again, something we didn't have before, uh, but a very key uh, and, and really nice capability going forward. Thank you for watching this video on deck constraints and the new user interface uh, in version 10.07.